I've loved this city all my life, but I know there's something about Gotham that can twist you up until you don't even recognize who you are anymore. Her name is Susan Bellini. Her family has lived in Gotham long enough for her to know the dangers of walking down a dimly lit alley. During the day, it's overcast at best, but at night, at night the darkness is a living being. It's been known to swallow people up. This city teaches you to always expect the worst in people. It's how you survive. So she does. I don't want any trouble, please. <laughs> Bonnie, we don't want no trouble neither. I think we're more interested in having some fun. Fun? I, I, I don't... It's a nice looking bag you got there. Why don't we do a little show and tell, huh? They're used to inflicting pain on others. Knives require getting up close and personal, getting your hands dirty. I don't know. I think I want to see what's under that fancy get up. <laughs> you stupid bitch! The darkness is a living being in Gotham. If you're smart, you learn to fear it. Unfortunately for them, these guys are as smart as they look. Hey, you got no business here. We're just working on a little something. I just took the kid or something. Get over there and check it out. Yo, I'm furious. Get the fuck out of here. Now's the time when I would usually drop a could be a comment or a petty insult, but I can't find it in me. Not anymore. So I don't let him see me coming. Things haven't been the same for a while. I haven't been the same. I've gotten rougher around the edges. Sloppy. Not analyzing every step like I usually do. Things haven't been the same for a while. Not since Jason was murdered. Thank you. You know, I thought for a second you might be Batman. Sorry to disappoint. The police have been notified that you're on your way. You should head home. Unless you want to stick around. I will. Thank you, Ben.
bleed on this carpet and you won't hear the end of it, Gordon. Hmm. Doesn't need stitches. Thank God. I know you just go back out there and tear them. You know me too well. Babs. I can't tell you that I understand, but this is- And just leave it alone, Frankie. It's been weeks. Don't you think you should be getting some help instead of beating punks to a pulp out there? I know you mean well, but there is literally no way I can explain. I have to hold myself accountable or nothing changes. If you need it back up, I could I didn't need any. Do you remember when Jason first came to the manor? He found out a lot earlier on that Bruce was Batman than I did when I was his age. Or maybe it was just his circumstances. You know, he threw himself into it and... Bruce couldn't stop him. He was always so ready to go out on patrol. Sometimes it scared me just how easily and eagerly he accepted the role. Especially since it had gotten so much more dangerous. But I think that's what he liked most about it. I found Joker. What? Dick, you... what happened? Are you okay? I... I went off grid for a week. I turned off my comms, tracking. I know you noticed. Just after I heard about... God, I... I found him. I don't know what I was really planning on doing. I was so close to... Look, what I'm trying to say is... Bruce could have found Joker if he wanted. He just... But he just fucking sits there in his grief. So I did it. I went after him and... And I finally found him. And when I did, I was looking at him. He's just standing there. And I couldn't... Damn it. I'm so angry. I've never been this angry and I, I don't know what to do with it. I don't hold back on patrol anymore. I don't want to. 
and every time I beat a criminal so bloody it's an out-of-body experience and I just... Then I look down at what I've done and all I can see is Choker's face and I never regret it. The only thing I can think of is how I wish I'd been a better brother, you know? I think because I wasn't around I made myself this symbol in Jason's mind. This thing to amount to. And Bruce was never the empathetic type. I could have been that for him. But I wasn't around. Stop. Stop. You and I have done this a long time. Justice. Bruce's way. With all the horrible things I've seen, I've never questioned it and always believed in it. Until now. I can't ignore it, the way losing Jason has made me consider things I didn't before. And saying it out loud makes it real. But there is no denying it. This is our fault, Dick. Because we've had the power to end this from the start. Ever since I put this symbol on my chest, I've wanted to protect people. But since then, I can't even keep count of all the people I've let die. We could have prevented that. And maybe we'll be damned. But so many innocent people have died, Dick. I've never believed it's our place to decide who lives or dies. But maybe we have no choice. Need to get away for a while. Bloodhaven isn't too far, but it's it's far enough. I wanted to see you before. Dick. Where's Joker? Perhaps I know what you're thinking about doing. I, I, would you consider it if I asked you to come with me? Dick, please. I... No, I know, Babs, but I just want to know who you're doing this for. We can't just let this go. But you don't have to be the one to make that decision. You shouldn't have to be. I was there, Barbara. I was there, and I tried it, and, it... and I almost... You don't want that. Don't tell me what I want. If we don't do this, then who's to stop it from happening again? Jason was a child. I can't... I won't stop. For what? For Bruce? I'm not asking you not to do this for Bruce. I'm asking you to consider it for yourself, Barbara. Please, don't throw your life away. Keep in touch, Dick. You too.
pay that lady. To pay Luomi a visit. I gotta say, I'm surprised you've taken this long. So you know why I'm here then? I may have heard through the grapevine that a little birdie fell out of the nest. <laughs> I'm here to find Joker. Well, you came to the wrong girl, baby bat. Because I ain't talking. You can go back to whatever cave you sleep upside down in. <gasps> Do I look like I'm messing around, Harley? He was a fucking kid. You, you never had any problems with letting him kill kids before. You put us in here, and we always crawl back out. Every... <laughs> I'm going to find him, Harley. The question is, how fucked up is your face gonna be before I walk out of here? You're not being a very nice bat lady! <laughs> you didn't find him down at Amusement Mile? <laughs> the, the, the docks? I You're don't- You're gonna have to try a little harder than that, Quinn. Uh, all right, all right! I, uh, sometimes, sometimes, Put in ghosts to a safe house when he knows he's in too deep. Needs to disappear. It's an abandoned Falcon warehouse just past Crown Point Bridge. What are you gonna do when you find him? <laughs> that little brat deserved what he got. He came to put in, not the other way around. He got what he fucking deserved! Says I'm careless. Would it kill him to admit that I'm doing a good job? I wouldn't take it too harshly. He's always been a critical teacher. And as much as I know it's not what you want to hear, you can be a little careless, Jay. Ugh, oh, not you too. Hey, if it's coming from me, then you have to know it's not just him being hard on you. You're putting your life on the line every time you go out there. We all are. You have the skill, and you definitely have the passion. But you tend to rush into things without thinking them through. You let your anger lead you. We all have things we need to work on. Oh yeah? You're the most perfect, Babs. What do you have to possibly work on? Please, I have plenty of things. For one, I do the opposite of what you do. I allow myself to get distracted by variables and possibilities. And sometimes it keeps me from making the right decision because I'm torn and I tend to wait too long. That's just one of the things. I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you all my flaws, kid. I wanna do this. I wanna protect people and put these scumbags where they belong. But I don't think I'll ever be good enough for him. I'm not you, I'm not Dick. I don't think I'll ever be good enough.
think Dick gave you a call? You know what I'm gonna do? You're not gonna stop me. I can't let you do this. After all this time, everything he's done, you know better than anyone that I have always happily followed our rules, our morals. I've built myself on them. But I can see now that we can't call ourselves protectors of Gotham if we let what happened to Jason happen to anyone else. We can't, Bruce. We are above the law. What happened to Jason? Could have been prevented. Are you even listening to yourself? How can you live with yourself in a world where you let Joker run free? drive any of us to take the life of another no matter the circumstances. If you do this, you know better than him, Barbara. It would dishonor Jason. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! him for hours with no remorse. And it's our fault. It's our fault because we couldn't make the hard choice. We couldn't do what needed to be done. And you know what? There's been thousands of Jasons. Thousands. And it took him being murdered by that maniac for me to see that we can't, we can't just expect you to be just like us, and frankly, personally, I don't think you should try to be. You are Robin now, Jason. You got a long way to go, but it's your way. Not Dick's and not mine. It's gonna be hard, and Bruce will never be easy on you. I know you can handle it. And we both know you're not just gonna give up. Yeah, no way in hell am I giving up. I'm better than the two of you combined. Okay, I wouldn't say that. Okay, right. stop that. Yeah.
Drink up, babes. If you catch pneumonia, I'm not gonna baby you all week. <laughs> know what to do, Frankie. I don't know how to live with this. Jason's, Jason's death brought the realization of all of those we've let die with him. But I'm not a killer. I don't think I could have done it and a part of me hates myself for that. You don't have to have all the answers right now, Babs. Being in your position, someone who fights crime up close and personal like that, dealing with these shit bags every night, I'll never say that I know what that's like. I can imagine it makes it harder, knowing you could do something but not knowing what to do. You're human. You need to give yourself time. You've got the best brain in that head of yours that I've ever come across. You'll figure this out, but you need to heal too. When did you get all wise on me, Frankie Charles? <laughs> ever since I started living with you. <laughs> you should get some sleep. I'd hate to have you blaming me tomorrow when you're a zombie in class. Oh, I'll still be blaming you. <laughs> and you better get some sleep too. And if you go back out there, I will kick your ass, Barbara Gordon. It's 6 a.m. Trust me, I won't be taking that chance. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Frankie. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm still angry. Doesn't even sound like a strong enough word for how I feel. Knowing that I couldn't avenge Jason the way I wanted felt like losing him all over again. But it's not that simple. Things aren't as black and white as I always thought. I have always believed that the strength to persevere through loss is what makes us heroes. Jason's life becoming a variable in that kills me every second. But there are twisted people like Joker everywhere. I can choose to stop them, or I can become one of them. I don't think Jason would want that for me. I don't know where to go from here, but I'll figure it out. Like I always do. I thought I'd come and visit this little place of yours. Uh, it's not much to look at, but I thought it would be a bad idea to come here. I thought, well, it's worth a shot. I think I'll put this one right next to my favorite snapshot of the second boy blunder. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> yeah.